IT's official, Trump nominates successor to Comey as FBI director. Back in May, Donald Trump fired the director of the FBI, James Comey. On Monday Trump formally nominated Christopher Wray to succeed James Comey, as the new director of the FBI. If the nomination is confirmed by the Senate, Ray would serve a 10-year term as the new director. President Trump stated earlier this month about Ray's nomination, I am proud to announce Christopher as my choice as the director of the FBI. During his previous service at the Department of Justice, Christopher was the leader of major fraud investigations, and was a key part of the team overseeing the Justice Department's actions in the war on terrorism following the 9-11 attacks. He is an impeccably qualified individual, and I know that he will again serve his country as a fierce guardian of the law and model of integrity once the Senate confirms him to lead the FBI, Trump said. Ray, 50, led the Justice Department's criminal division from 2003 to 2005, and is currently in private attorney. I am honored and humbled to be nominated by the President to lead the FBI, the premier law enforcement organization in the world. Ray said in a statement. From my earliest days working with agents as a line prosecutor to my time working with them at the Department of Justice in the aftermath of 9-11, I have been inspired by the men and women of the FBI-inspired by their professionalism, integrity, courage, and sacrifice for the public, he said. If confirmed, it will be a privilege and honor to once again work with them. America faces grave threats both here and abroad, and the FBI, in concert with its federal, state, and local partners continues to work steadfastly to prevent and hold accountable those responsible for these threats. I look forward to the confirmation process, and pledge my complete commitment to fairly and honorably protecting our country and upholding our Constitution and laws," he added. Of course, most Americans knew this was coming from Trump's tweet back on June 7. Chris Ray who served as Assistant Attorney General from 2003 to 2005, was interviewed for the vacant FBI director job by President Trump on May 30, Press Secretary Sean Spicer said at a press briefing. Ray worked under Comey at the Justice Department for two years, when Comey was the Deputy Attorney General. Facts about Christopher Ray In 1997, Christopher Ray began his career in government with the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Northern District of Georgia, where he was an assistant U.S. attorney. He was moved to Maine Justice in 2001, serving as Associate Deputy Attorney General and Principal Associate Deputy Attorney General, according to the Justice Department's website. President George W. Bush nominated him as Assistant Attorney General in charge of the Justice Department's Criminal Division in 2003. He received unanimous confirmation from the Senate. Ray worked alongside James Comey and former FBI Director Robert Mueller at the Justice Department during his time in the Bush administration. Mueller was chosen in May to serve as special counsel for the Justice Department's investigation into Russia's role in the 2016 election. While Ray was Assistant Attorney General from 2003 to 2005, Comey was the Deputy Attorney General and Mueller was leading the FBI as its director. He was willing to resign along with Comey and Mueller in 2004, during Comey's showdown with the White House over the plan to renew the National Security Agency's terrorist surveillance program while then Attorney General John Ashcroft was hospitalized. Ray has been a litigation partner at King and Spalding law firm. Christopher Ray, 50 has been a litigation partner at the King & Spaulding Law Firm, working out of its Atlanta and Washington, D.C. offices, since he left the Justice Department in 2005, according to the firm's website. Chris Ray is one of the nation's top litigators and understands the prosecution of white-collar crime extremely well. We are proud to welcome him back to King & Spaulding, said Walter W. Driver, Jr., King & Spaulding's chairman in a press release at the time. As head of the U.S. Department of Justice's Criminal Division, Chris has been in charge of investigations, prosecutions and policy development in virtually all areas of federal criminal law, from fraud and public corruption to terrorism, money laundering, computer crime and appellate litigation. He has the will and experience to effectively drive the continued growth of our special matters practice.
and our clients will benefit greatly from the experience he has gathered while at the Justice Department. Mr. Ray's group, the King and Spalding Special Matters and Government Investigations Practice Group, has been named the White Collar Group of the Year by Law 360 and was called the premier firm in this practice area by U.S. News & World Report, according to the firm. He is considered one of the top litigators in white collar crime and government investigations, according to several publications. Chambers USA called him a renowned heavy hitter in this space and a top-notch advocate who can provide counsel on the toughest issues who brings instant credibility and will give you straight answers without blowing smoke. Chris Christie's Personal Attorney During the Bridgegate Investigation Christopher Ray served as the personal attorney to New Jersey Governor Chris Christie during the Bridgegate controversy, an investigation into the closure of lanes on the George Washington Bridge as political payback against a local politician, according to ABC News. Three of Christie's top aides were found guilty of federal crimes but Christie was cleared of criminal charges. Christie praised Trump's decision to nominate Ray. I have the utmost confidence in Chris. He's an outstanding lawyer. He has absolute integrity and honesty, and I think that the president certainly would not be making a mistake if he asked Chris Ray to be FBI director, Christie told the Asbury Park Press after the nomination was announced. He would not comment about whether he had any role in the president's decision to consider Ray according to the newspaper. Ray graduated from Yale Law School. Ray graduated from Yale University in 1989 and went on to Yale Law School, receiving his law degree in 1992, according to his law firm's website. He was the executive editor of the Yale Law Journal. After law school, Ray spent one year as clerk to Judge J. Michael Luttig of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fourth Circuit. Ray attended Phillips Academy in Andover, Massachusetts. His father, Cecil Ray, was a partner at the law firm de Beauvoise and Blimpton and his mother, Gilda Ray worked for the Charles Hayden Foundation. He is married, to Helen Ray, with two children, a daughter, Carolyn, 22, and a son, Tripp, 20, and lives in Georgia. Lives in Georgia.